Good morning, good afternoon, good evening wherever you are in the world. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Jasmine update. Now I'm really excited to be making this video because we have actually approached a certain price target. It was a major price target for me personally. It's something that is really, really special to me. I don't know if you remember, I think it was two or three months ago. When we were looking at this level right here at uh, 0 0.008 dollars per jasmine coin and i was saying that yes this was major major support right here and the most likely thing for the jasmine price to do is come back at least and re revisit this area right here whether it's going to be a rejection or not it was almost like a magnet that we would come back and see these levels right here so why am i excited we have actually gotten so close to this level right here i mean the highest price target, the closest that we got was something like 0 0.0076 which is super close to 0 0.008 actually and uh, here the question obviously is what is going to happen next are we going to go through this resistance right here or we're going to get a rejection so that's exactly what we try to be figuring out in today's video but before i get into today's content i just want to kindly ask you to help me spread this video by tapping the like button because it really helps with the youtube algorithm people looking for jasmine content will not be able to find this video much more easily and if you haven't subscribed to the channel just yet i would encourage you to do so really because i do ta on jasmine on a regular basis and without me wanting my mouth too much let me actually get into the real stuff so in my last video i was a little bit bearish on the jasmine price set because i was looking at this you know elliot wave counts right here let me actually go to a shorter time frame right here let's pick the folly time frame and uh, i was expecting a deeper abc correction but i mean the jasmine price set was actually in a very good powerful position that the abc correction that came in surprised me really so we had one two three four five waves right here and then this is where i got lost on the adjustment price because we we're looking for an abc correction one two abc correction right here so i was expecting the abc correction to come as low as 0.004 or about but uh you know as i mentioned already the adjustment price it was in a very strong position so we got a shallow abc correction right here and we were continuing with our alert wave count so we would now be forming the second the third wave actually which would be like a one two three four this is so beautiful right now the question is is the fifth wave complete already or we're going to stretch it a little bit right into our resistance level that we have here on the just price set and that remains to be seen really but if it would be me actually which is me already right after the price set is within something like 200 uh, percent right here i think it's going to be very normal for me to expect a pullback to show up right here in the market obviously it doesn't mean that the jasmine price set is going to be bearish in the long term because as you can see we still have got our perfect perfect bullish case scenario right here which is still intact with this falling wedge that you can see so you've memorized the price targets uh at this point but you're looking at 4.5 cents as the conservative price target right here as well as uh, something like you know 9 to 11 cents as the bullish case scenario most bullish case scenario right here. so what you can see right here is we've broken out obviously that's really nice but we still haven't gotten that back test of this uh falling wedge right here which is something that usually happens it doesn't happen often but something that is likely to happen so i'm welcoming the idea of a rejection right around these levels here but we can safely back test this falling wedge and then let go of the price set right that's okay at the same time looking at it from an rsi perspective you can see that yes uh, each and every single time we've gotten to these levels we have had a reset in the rsi and that's normal really so yeah these pullbacks were really really big i don't see the adjustment price at having another leg down i think this was the bottom of the adjustment price at here we'll also look at uh, other market conditions to see how things are looking there right but as i was mentioning look at this the point the moment that we get to these levels right here above 70 above 70 we have a massive correction on the adjustment price set as I mentioned, I don't think it's going to happen that like that big this time around because we've already set our low right here on the Jasmine price. Set. But we'll see what happens here uh, in the immediate short term or even in the shorter term. Right? But looking at other market conditions right here, let's quickly look at the Bitcoin price set. With the Bitcoin price set, we can see that yes, we are you know heading right into resistance and we've already started a, you know somewhat of a pullback right here, going to the shorter time frame right here, which is the four hourly time frame. We can see that we are still setting higher highs, higher highs right here. And if you want to draw a trend, you can also see that uh, yes, we are still in an uptrend. But this is almost like a dangerous situation because the moment you start losing the support, you can have a cascading effect, and the price could go down as low as something like uh, twenty-one eight 
or um, no, say 21 h 28 or even 21 thousand dollars here per bitcoin and uh, another thing that has me on the edge is this thing looks like a work of distribution structure here but it remains to be seen i mean the market is going to open it has already opened actually we'll see what happens right here taking a look at uh, you know other big players in the market like ethereum we can also see that um, you know we are heading into massive resistance what is happening here with the ethereum price that is something that we saw i think back then in 2018 to 2020 and see almost the same structure that is being represented one more time right here and uh, according to the structure where we are right here i copied this fracture you see right here from this area and if you want to match them one is to one you can see that we are being you know very, very close to that structure so what it would suggest right here is we are someone right here there could be another pullback I mean, this pullback was something like 65%. You remember the C19, you know, announcement and all those things. But um, one thing that I've learned in the market is to never say never. So it wouldn't be surprising me really if we see a pullback right here up at the Ethereum price set as well as on the Bitcoin price set. And when something like that happens, I don't think the Jasmine price set is going to be an exception. It has been an exception for the last one week. That's okay. I don't think it happens that much often, right? Also taking a look at the DXY. Uh, we can see that uh, we are fighting a major resistance right here as you can see on a weekly time frame this is the single most important support or resistance line here on the dxy why are we talking about the dxy the dxy is so important because it works you know in the opposite direction with the crypto space in general it's falling down we've got you know positive price section happening in the uh you know crypto market right here so yes um taking a closer look right here we can see that the dxy has gotten back to resistance levels on a weekly time frame on a daily time frame let's also check that here and see what's happening you can see we are trying to fight that resistance right here if this thing gets a rejection right here i think that's a green light for crypto but uh, if we would you know start getting above it a little bit mm, not so good for the crypto space we'll actually be looking forward to those uh, you know retraces or pullbacks that we were looking for for the jasmine price at the bitcoin price set as well as the ethereum price set so yeah that's pretty much it from me today on the jasmine price set overall i'm so bullish long term because you can see this structure that we've been following for months right here at the same time in the immediate short term i was looking at this price i get 0 0.008 dollars per jasmine token we have actually finally gotten to we have actually gotten close to that level we haven't gotten there just yet but a pullback right around this level to back test our falling wedge here is something that is, you know, possible to me, very much possible. Obviously, this is just my own opinion, no financial advice. I would encourage you to do your own research, really. But if you like the content, don't forget to delicately tap the like button, share the video with your friends and family. And then I would have to see you on the next one. Yeah, bye.